My name is Ed Hicks. I'm a mural artist who works with GSA quite a lot, and today I'm going to be painting up this saw. I wasn't entirely sure what to do with this thing. I'm kind of known to do a lot of forest paintings, so painting a saw seems... painting a forest on a saw seems like it could work. You could make a long panoramic scene that way. But I'm thinking of doing, doing it this way. A long, thin, straight up piece like this usually gives itself to portraiture or a, or a long you know, physical form. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe painting a tarot card. There's a particular one called The Hanged Man. The card depicts a guy hanging upside down by one foot. He's got his hands tied behind his back and the other legs crossed over like that. It was actually an execution method uh, back in Italy way back called Pittura Inflamante. The hangman card is about staying still and getting your, getting your world together and taking time to step back and, uh, and co coordinate everything. It seemed like the right idea to do at the moment because uh, obviously we've all been in lockdown for so long. Um, in stasis, remaining in the same place, going over things, making plans. Being a saw that it is, uh, it kind of makes make, <laughs> makes makes sense that you would be cutting away the dead wood and uh, and changing changing that changing the static position into something more fluid, which we're all doing right now. I like to really use a lot of earth tones. I'm kind of scared of avidity, to be perfectly honest. Something about when things get too bright, it's just it's really terrifying. It's like, ah, you need air in the eyes, ah. I'm probably going to start quite loose, smudge the colours around, get it quite expressionistic, and then tighten up afterwards. I'm not going to paint the handle, just the uh, just the main metal body there. Uh, the character will be hanging like that. I'll probably add a load of foliage and... Uh, um, trees and natural forms surrounding there. Um, you always have the, the number of the card down there and, uh, and the title of the card at the top, usually, so I might put it down the bottom. You start off making a bit of a mess and then clean it up afterwards. How's it going? How's it going? It seems, seems to be coming along all right so far. Well, I wanted to do the sky with a dark blue into light blue into kind of a greeny colour then into, into yellow and white. Whack on a load of colours and just just wang it around with a brush to get it, get, give it a decent enough fade. The process has been just, just to get stuff on there and then sculpt it back. This is the big fade, which we started off with, and black out the area and just start smudging in colours, get, getting complex base down so then any highlights and lowlights will redefine the form so you'll get kind of a, a midway that has it implies more detail than, it, than there is. Fortunately because I put the the initial lines down and then brushed over which is a very different movement the I can just about make out the initial sketch in there so I'm going to do the character next there'll be a kind of a darkened body with like the light creeping around just the sides there, so you probably won't see much of the face or anything like that. Okay, so just putting the uh, just put the signature on there. Here's the great reveal. Ding! So the hangman, twelfth card of the tarot. The last bits I did was obviously blank out the central figure and then. Just bring little highlights in, smudge them around a bit so they fade. Um, see I've got a bit of texture in there that I worked in with a finger, just to get some texture in there. And then, because it's virtually silhouetted, I brought a peach and then a white around the, around the corners, all the way around, almost like a outline, outlining the whole thing, just so it looks like there's a bit of back glow. I want to keep a kind of a graphical board around the whole thing just to separate it off, make it very much a picture postcard type of thing. The pens have got excellent opacity actually. They're really good for that. 
the one thing I did do is not mix them up. So you see here where, you, where it's almost like got a glaze, like a watercolor fade over the top, so we don't mix them up. And then, and then you really give them, a, give them a shake to get a proper definitive tone elsewhere. So yeah, it's been quite, so they're quite versatile actually. You can probably find more of my stuff on uh, Instagram, I expect. Uh, which is ed underscore hicks 